There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. Bedside table, headlight fable. That's not even a thing. Date, look! Sabako is coming out of the TV! Who? Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiura. He snuck out at night. Snuck out? Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event, despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Iba, call in this gate. Roger that. Hello, this is Lemnis Gate Entertainment Offices. Let me hear your message. Thank you. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him, too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? But with the accident and all... Still, he might be there. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. He's not here, as you can see. Well, well, if it isn't Dante! Long time no see. Is something wrong? No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Hey, Date. Wanna watch Men in Fundoshi's pounding drums? No thanks. I'm good. Date, what do you call a bottle of beer on your face? Um, a beard? Why would you do that?
What do you think this counts? Bars? I do not appreciate your pun. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian on January 20th, 288 AD. He was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Something wrong, Dante? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a gift from Wren a while back. I've always had it there. Mama, my goodness. You've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Excuse me, that is a fridge. I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. One time it even became a real fight, you remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Mm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Yeah. His favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. What are you doing, by the way? Polishing Bonito. It is not well known, but dried Bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality Bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Welcome home! 
Sea King? Sea King? Oh! <laughs> Is this your first time here? Uh, sorry. I'm not here as a customer. I need to talk to someone about something. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. Oh, sir! Oh, wait a minute! Tate? What kind of furniture can you drink? Um, a uh, light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. But you could have just said the tail. So, who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. Ayota, hey, buy me a drink? Why? Because beer tastes better if someone else buys it. You don't have to yell. It looks like a flotation device, right? But it's actually a huge donut. At this cafe, the maids and clerks are referred to as mermaids. Date, I must be the bearer of bad news. Even with x-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising rapidly. What are you excited about? Her hips? Are you seeing this? I'm about to cry tears of joy. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? Look, huh. I can see right through. You seriously disgust me, Date. By the way, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. You're a detective? Something like that. 
That's what we call the customers. Us mermaids serve the Sea Kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. We were given legs and feet so that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Tate, let's go. No, not yet. There's still so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. He's just the owner, not the manager, so he comes sometimes, but not all that often. Because I'm worried about Tessa. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Well, it was past midnight, so more like this morning. I don't care about the timing. What happened? Tessa was streaming, as usual, from her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. Sure am. I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday, too. Around 6.30, I think, but I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone. I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon, god of the sea. You know, a trident. Why do you have that? We treat our customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. It's more like a way to exploit their vanity. To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. That sounds even worse. I'm still gold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? The body on the merry-go-round was Renju's ex-wife. I didn't know that she was Mizuki's mom. Did she change her name or something? Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just... 
left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, is it eating you up inside, Ota? Yeah, seriously. While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order too, Date. That's not why I'm mad, Ota. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at 2 in the morning? And then she leaves? She looked really serious, too. I was worried about her, so I tried to call, but she didn't answer. She didn't read any of my Nile messages, either. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Tessie used to work here. She made a lot of friends. I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too, but no one knows anything. Iva, call Iris. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. No way. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. Something wrong, sir? Uh, no, nothing. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. You look like you can eat just fine. Date, Renju is not at this location. We have other areas we need to search. Yeah, you're right. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. I think that pulls out into a bed. What would be the point of that? Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel.
I got nothing to say to you. If I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. I wish for panties. I told you, that's not Shenron. The Kumakura Crest. Aima, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is off. What? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Fuck no. Why would we do that? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. An A-set figure. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps... Hey. You wouldn't happen to be a fan of A-set, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never be into pussy shit like that, you fucker. Water. Wait, uh, sweat. He said, he said, you bet. Fears. Upset. Uh, regret. He said. Shadows. Threat. A uh, silhouette. He said. Just as I thought. Boss? What's this? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Y yes, sir. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. But he's gone now. A suicide? Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. 
Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see, but it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Totally blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy at his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <sighs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? 
I met her yesterday at Lemniscade. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAT fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. Zweihander. That's a broadsword. Date, last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? I'm a cop! Not contact her. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Are you worried about her? I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. I saw it in Mizuki's Somnium. Iris's body. Frozen solid. C -c Ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Oh. Right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Hmm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Let us determine a code number, one that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud, all by wireless communication in real time. Even if my body is destroyed, 
My backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes. As long as the server is alive. Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? It is my favorite number. There is no particular meaning. Really? Come with me, to where you belong. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. This time is different. About Shoko Nadami's murder, we still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba, is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date. The line is connected. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. All right, Hal. Let's see what you can do. It, it's connected. It's ringing. I thought you said you did get nervous. Uh, 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 uh. Calm down. Deep breaths. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name! Get his name! How? Uh, uh, my sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. You're an imposter. I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am Sozajima, the congressman. 
politician? Sajima. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely so Sajima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no nothing like that. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub! Stop! The nerve might break! Date! A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akasuka, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. Hey, you can't be here without permission. I'll call the police! What happened? Sir. A uh, police officer. You. Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Look, Date, your favorite cabaret girl is here. That's just a lantern. Rika isn't that sturdy. I have a look. A kappa. He is a wealthy, powerful man. It is not surprising that he owns a pet kappa. Really? Really? Give me cucumbers. Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. Probably double what you make. 
Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. On it. Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians? That's... surprisingly honest. What's your name? What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. This guy's domestic. His normalcy must be punished by death. Date. Perhaps there's something you should be using. Oh, that. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. Yeah, I knew that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? Iba, call his phone again. Using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. Go home, unless you want to get kicked out. I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, in the mansion. Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. I don't know what you're talking about. No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Look! A UFO! I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked So's smartphone, and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone. The one registered under his name. Where is he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking them. Roger that. What was So doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. Are you serious?
this is... Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back, and one eye missing. Oh, no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Hmm? Congressman So Sejima. Bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything. Just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Iris's body was found frozen in the warehouse. Her right eye was removed, and she suffered multiple stab wounds to her back. There were no other visible wounds on her body, so the stab wounds were likely the cause of death. From the size and shape of the marks, the murder weapon is almost definitely a knife. Possibly a kitchen knife. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Iris was live streaming until 2 a.m. today. Someone visited her and I hadn't been in contact. Whoever visited her this morning almost certainly has something to do with the murder. Iris's body was found at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? This. Iba, play the video. Right away. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth. Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent. As is my right, guaranteed by law. <sighs> Remember that I am a politician. I know my rights. 
Date, can I get a second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. You believe that Sosajima is her killer. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Thinking about how Iris's body was frozen when I discovered it. It must have taken at least 18 hours for the body to freeze to that state. I entered the warehouse at 9 p.m. 18 hours prior to that was 3 a.m. Iris was last seen alive around 2 a.m. She was live streaming, so there's no doubt about the time. Meaning Iris must have been murdered between 2 and 3 in the morning. Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night, at a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politician spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. If it's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did, but they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. Dora Dora is a private room Mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we could ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait, what did you say? I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you know she was stabbed? Because... Because you did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <sighs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. Sink with him. time let us begin Did you witness my superior driving technique? Yeah, I saw you get in an accident. No! I only pressed the wrong pedal! That's what you call an accident. Oh, look at that. Don't change the subject. Observe the surroundings. Huh, in a word I'd say it's... strange. Maybe this is So's corrupt nature manifesting itself. The man's Somnium is almost as corrupt as he is. I am impressed. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this is a real bad dream. Let's get the clues we need and get the hell out of here. It's Iris. What on earth is she doing here? Ah! <gasps> 
Iris! We can't go any closer? We cannot. That silhouette we saw. This is so Somnium. During a sink, we experience the subject's dreams from a third-person perspective. In other words... It has to be him. I cannot say for certain, but probably. What's going on? It appears that time is looping in this warped space. Time is looping? Can't you do something about that? What exactly do you propose I do? You're telling me I have to watch this scene over and over? I don't want to watch it either. Well then? I suppose we can help her. We may then be able to ask this manifestation of Iris some questions. Huh? Sure, do whatever you gotta do. Yes. We have to save Iris, no matter what! Yeah. But to do that, we gotta do something about that huge wooden box. Somnium scan! Activate! <laughs> 